Hello and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This video is going to show you how to get the troglocide achievement or trophy for Fallout 76. This was added for the Expedition Pit update that become available in September. In September till December 2022, the only way you can get the oil axe needed for the achievement is to get to level 15 on the Season 10 scoreboard, which you get by completing score challenges or spending atoms to skip directly. After Season 10 ends, it will be available for stamps at the stamp vendor, which I will show you later in the video where that is for people who might be watching this video after Season 10 ends. After you get the plans, then you'll have to build one using an armour workbench. Materials needed are shown here, and the higher the level, the more materials needed. Once you created your axe, if you got any legendary cores and modules, which you get from various public events, daily operations and the expeditions, to add some legendary effects. I re-rolled and got the one where the AP replenishes after each kill, which is really handy for this particular weapon. How this weapon works is that you hold the right trigger and it activates the auto axe and it starts to drain the AP and once the AP is gone the weapon stops working until you get more AP and that's why I was happy with AP replenishes after each kill as when you're killing enemies they also drain your AP when you're getting attacked so it goes down a lot quicker. Now you're wanting to have a decent melee build for your auto axe, especially if you're going to solo expeditions which is recommended, unless you are low level and you might want to team up and try to get the kills quickly. Here's the recommended special points assignment. I got more than that because of my legendary perks and I never had a melee build before, so I'm sort of halfway into the build while I was going for the achievement. So I'll list cards that are handy on the screen that I haven't got and show you the handy cards I'm using. For strength, having the slugger cards to add to the damage to the auto axe. I got incisor because I've got them cards. This is handy against the fanatics, but easily replaced by the other cards. I put glow sight on the perception only because you face glowing trogs at the end of the ashes expedition. I got ironclad card as well, as I don't have power armor and need survivability. For charisma, if you're going solo, then lone wanderer card is really handy, especially for the AP regen, which you need for the auto axe. If you're going to be doing teams, then replace it with handy team cards. You want the tenderizer to be 3 stars for more damage with the auto axe. For intelligent, makeshift warrior at max star is a priority so your auto axe slows down on breaking, and first aid at max is always handy for most builds. For your agility, another multi build skill is action boy to get the AP up faster, and max adrenaline for when you are mowing down enemies and getting more damage with each kill and you want max dodgy to try to mitigate damage. It might cost AP, but this will be fine with the other AP bonuses you can get. And finally luck. Max bloody mess for more damage, and luck of the draw is really handy so your weapon has a chance to repair itself, and with this and makeshift warrior, your weapon can survive an expedition on solo without breaking. I had Storm Chaser thinking that it would help in the radiation storm that happens in the Ashes expedition, but it doesn't.
for me to think twice about venturing into the mire. Pretty much guaranteed to have the smallest scratch turn into a serious infection out there. Just here for a bit, I'll stay out of your hair. Now after Season 10 ends, you will have to buy the ore axe with stamps that you earn by doing expeditions. I will show you where the vendor is, and also, you might want to save up and invest in one of the ore axe mods, especially if you want to keep the build. You will more than likely get the achievement before you get enough stamps though. So this is a place that's bringing all these damn people to have a latch. Is it hungry? Has we got a vertebra. Here's an easy riddle for you. I am all around you, but you cannot see me. You know me, but have never met me. What am I? Hi, oh, that's nice cooking. It's been so long since I've had food with actual flavor. Now for the trucks. You have a choice of two missions for expeditions and you want to choose from ashes to fire, as that's where you find the most trucks. Now to get an expedition, you have to complete all three daily quests in White Springs. To be able to pick an expedition, and you are limited to one per day, there is a link in the description below for Into the Pit Achievement that gives a more in-depth explanation of daily quests and expeditions. You can join as many teams as you want to go into expeditions in a day. Each Ashes expedition has roughly about 30 trucks you can defeat, and so you will need to do it solo four times, or join other games for more. There is no tracking, so you gotta do it until the achievement unlocks. Now you can go to the trench or the sewers, clear out the trucks, not activating the mission, quit out and go back in, and the trucks will respawn. Now I personally I didn't do that, as I might as well keep doing expeditions for the rewards and stamps, but the choice is yours. If you like this video subscribe to my channel where there are more Fallout and RPG game videos. Also the channel has achievement and trophy guides, secrets and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.